Well, welcome to the first episode of Lou Costable Business Tips. Some of you have probably watched my YouTube channel, My Car Story with Lou, and I've been asked and requested to get some business tips. I run several businesses. So on episode one, I thought, why listen to business tips for me? So number one, I've been uh, running a IT consulting business since 2002 with a co-partner. We can talk about topics that come up from there. For the last 11 plus years, I run a CFO mastermind group that has 30 members in it where we not only bring up topics, but then we have problem solving, a very specific methodology where I'm helping businesses there. Obviously my YouTube channel, My Car Story with Lou, with uh, I'm a silver YouTube subscriber, or a silver YouTube award winner in YouTube, which means I have over 100,000 subscribers. Uh, at this time that I'm talking to you, we're approaching 74, over 74 million overall views. I've got a Facebook page called My Car Story with Lou with over 330,000 subscribers. And I run a martial art business that I've been running since the 90s. I have been doing martial arts since the late 70s. And um, I run a communication coaching business. So where I help companies uh, when their sales are stuck, or if their team members want to have better communication with their outside clients or internal cl cons uh, clients. So those are some of the things I do. So the purpose to this video is my videos are going to be really unscripted. They're going to be just top of mind. I'm probably going to do very little editing because I have other things to do. So this is really more of a benefit to you, the person who's watching. And I hope that the tips that I share with you are a blessing to you and help your business grow. So. I think we should start with why do business. So the reason why you want to do business is number one, of course, to make money. That makes sense. Um, and we can talk a little bit about those things. I'll also do the best I can to answer some of your questions in the comments. Uh, the other thing I would say is I have businesses that I really like and I have businesses that I don't like as much. And some of those things you've learned over time. So as you can see, I've got some silver hair so hopefully some of my experience, for some of you who might be new, uh, will be getting some information that'll give you thoughts or things to think about. So the first thing I would say if you're going to do business for yourself is it probably isn't gonna turn out exactly how you think it's gonna be. What do I mean by that? Um, in future episodes, I'll be talking about target and how do you target a business. I'll be talking more about um, passion. I'll be talking more about determination. I'll be talking about uh, communication coaching tips. So there's lots of topics that are going to come from this. I'm just going to randomly throw videos up occasionally and we'll see how it flies. Maybe it'll fly as well as my My Car Story with Lou. Maybe it'll do better. Who knows? We'll find out. So um, what I did learn though is I started with an IT consulting business because I had knowledge in that and I had knowledge in the martial arts. So I thought what would be my goal to making money that was the first thing i thought of when you're in business business should be to make money uh, not just i love to do what i'm doing although that's important um, if what your giftedness is in is let's just say for myself communication with my mouth then maybe i shouldn't be doing road construction because i wouldn't be really using my skill sets to their best advantage it would be better for me to just teach people and help them that way. So I knew that as a martial art instructor back in the 1980s that I was able to teach and better yet, I was able to instruct, which means I was able to do the actual move and have other people do it. I actually had a student who was deaf, so he couldn't hear anything I was saying. So I would do a move, he would do a move. I would do a move, he would do a move. And, um, you learn about that. So the first thing I would say to start a business is you should be somewhat of a subject matter expert in the topic. That will be helpful. Number two is it should bring a value to other people who you're serving. So either a service or a product that brings value to other people and obviously something that you can make a profit on. We'll even talk about profits and things such as that. Uh, is it important to love what you do? I do think it is. So there are businesses that are much more difficult. The IT business is the most difficult because people don't give you a lot of love when they fix your IT stuff. You know, where's my server? Where's my email? Why is it down? 
Uh, you're obviously not causing that, but they're panicked and they need your help. So uh, thankfully you have to be very disciplined so that you can pick up the phone and make sure that you can make those calls or get emails and make sure you help them. It's almost like being a baby doctor. You don't know when this stuff's gonna break, but when it breaks, they need you to fix it. So it's very much emergency support, much more stressful than something, as an example, like my YouTube channel where I video cars um, and show the reviews of those cars and really show this, share the story. It's why it's why I called My Car Story with Lou. It's the story of people who have those cars. That's a lot of fun. I really love cars. I like the people who have the cars. We just have a natural connection as soon as we get together and it creates really solid friendships. And we can talk about that later too, about how those friendships uh, help you out. We'll probably talk about know, like, and trust. So as an opener, I would say that number one, you've got to be very disciplined to start your business. And when I say disciplined, there's times where I run more of a sprint in business, which means I am literally working at six in the morning till 11 at night. Uh, it could go for a certain amount of time. Um, I'll use my CFO business as an example. When uh, COVID hit um, and our meetings were on site, I thought, what are we going to do? And Zoom wasn't as popular as it is today. So I immediately talked to a friend of mine who uh, knew a lot about databases and he got me a thousand people who could potentially be clients. And I started calling them. I got their addresses, I got the size of their businesses, I got their titles, I got their emails. Um, we could talk about how you do all those things at another time. And I started calling people and this we went from 10 CFOs to 14 just by making those calls and being persistent. And then it started to grow and it's now up to 30. And that's a real good number. I'll probably cap it at about 40. There, We could talk about that at another time too while we're doing that. But I just want to give you an overall on this first business episode. So just in recapping, I run a martial art business. I run a CFO mastermind business. I run an IT business with a business partner. I run a communication company where I help companies. I usually talk with the presidents and their sales are stuck as I shared. And obviously I have a YouTube channel. So I hope in this opener, I've given you a few tips like being determined and uh, determined is, is, is a huge skill set. As a matter of fact, my last name, Costable, if you Googled what's the meaning to Costable, it would tell you it means determined. So my first name is Lewis which if you Google that, you would find out the meaning of that is little warrior, like King Louis III and King Louis IV and King Louis V. And my middle name happens to be Peter, so it's a little warrior, and Peter is a rock, so a little warrior with a rock who is determined. And I find that, besides my martial arts skill sets, where you have to be very determined for that, that uh, that was very, very much a solid piece for being a business owner and having the discipline to keep getting up every morning. I jump out of bed. I don't have any problem getting out of bed and doing work. I'm excited about who I'm talking to every day, including you, trying to help new people in business uh, or people who've already been in business for a while who might be stuck. I can help them with these videos. So I hope that you enjoyed this first episode. I'm happy to share more episodes with you. Again, they'll be not so structured. They're not going to be grand productions. I have enough other things to do, but it's really for the benefit of helping people like yourself who uh, want, want some business tips. And that's what I'm here to give you. All right. Thanks guys.